everyone. We are in the second set of 10 sessions in our Believe series. So the first 10, we talked about belief. What do we think about God, about the Christian faith? And now we are talking about act. We Last week, we talked about worship and what worship is, what that looks like. And today we are going to be talking about prayer. Prayer is such an essential key part of a Christian's walk and their faith and how they connect to God. So the key question for this week is how do I grow by communicating with God? And that is what prayer is. Prayer is the word that we use to talk about our communication with God as well as his communication with us. This is our lifeline. This is our connection to who God is. This is how we determine his plan for our lives. This is how we worship him. This is how we lay down our burdens and our worries and our cares at his feet. And the key idea for today is I pray to know God to find direction for my life, and to lay my requests before him. And what I want us to do during this time is to look through what we call the Lord's Prayer. And this is, um, in context, this is a time when Jesus is with his disciples and his disciples are asking him how they should pray, what this communication with God should look like. And so this is what Jesus instructs them about prayer. He says, when you pray, pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need. Forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. Now, I believe that when Jesus gives this prayer as an example to his disciples and to us, I don't think he's saying this is a formula. I don't think he's saying you have to pray these exact words every time you approach God. But I think he is giving us a template. And so going through this prayer, there's a few things I want to pull out for us to reflect on. So first he says, Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. Here, Jesus is beginning this prayer by acknowledging who God is. It's a time to worship, to glorify him, to acknowledge that he is our Father. He is in heaven. He is holy. He is not a created one, but he is the creator. He is set apart. And so we get our minds right by remembering who God is. Next, it goes on to say, may your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I believe in here, after we acknowledge who God is, we enter into a posture of acknowledging his lordship that he is the one in charge. It's his kingdom. We are citizens of that kingdom. And so we do what he tells us to do. We live in accordance to his will and what he has said. And as he goes on and says, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I think this is a way for us to not seek our own will when coming to him, but asking for his will to be done. That our minds, that our hearts, the things we desire for our life would be transformed into what he would have for us. And then it says, give us today the food we need. This is acknowledging and seeking God, knowing that our dependence for everything in this life is on him. He is the one who ultimately provides for all our needs, our physical needs through 
food, water, shelter, but he's also the provider of what we need emotionally, what we need spiritually in our lives. And we can seek him in prayer for that. And then forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. It's the acknowledgement that we don't have everything all together. There are broken pieces in our lives and God is there. He is there and he's asking us to lay those things down before him and he'll forgive them. He promises to forgive those things, to mend those things and to help us the next day, the next moment, live into what he is doing in our lives. And then finally, and don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. This is when we stand before him and we seek his strength, knowing that it is in his strength that we can take steps forward in all the struggles and all the temptations this life brings our way. So we look to what Jesus does. We watch Jesus and we do what he does. He showed us what it looks like to come to the Father, to be dependent on the Father, to lay our burdens down before him. And so we do this as followers, as disciples of him. Next, it is completely acceptable for us to lay our requests before God. Sometimes we feel like our problems in this whole scheme of thing, they're nothing. I'm not going to bother bringing these little things before God. Doesn't he have better things to be doing? The answer is no. He loves you. He loves you in your day to day. He loves you. Um with the little burdens and the little struggles and the little worries you have. And so it is acceptable to bring those things to God and seek his will. Also, like Jesus, like we see him modeled, we should seek to align our lives to God's will versus asking God to align his life to our will. He is not a genie in a bottle that is there to grant our wishes. He loves us and he says he wants good things for us. And so we, when we come to him in prayer, we're asking him, transform my heart, transform my mind to be in alignment with, with what you want for my life. And so I wanna leave you today with three key applications about prayer. The first is I pray to align my life to God's will. It's what we just talked about. The second is I pray to lay my burdens before God to find peace. God promises to give us peace when we pray and seek him with thanksgiving. And third, I won't make any major decision in my life without seeking God through prayer. God wants to be intimately involved in every step of our lives and every decision we make. And so it's a great practice to get into when we are struggling with making major decisions in our lives to come before God, to seek his wisdom and insight into those things. So remember, prayer is how we communicate with God and how we hear his voice. Is how we enter into relationship with him. Just as we grow in our relationship with our friends through conversation, through time spent together, this is how God has designed us to build a relationship with him. So don't let it intimidate you. Start slowly and seek God every day in prayer. Have a great discussion in your group tonight. Mm-hmm.